The spirits of Ruth and Gehrig place to a certain feeling standing in front of Yankee Stadium. You don't have to be a player to understand Lou Gehrig's rightful place in New York Yankees history. We can live in that moment both then and now. past two weeks. For the past two weeks. For the past two weeks. You have been reading about the bad break I got. Yet today. Yet today, I consider myself. I consider myself. I consider myself the luckiest man on the face of the earth. I've been in the ballparks for 17 years, and I've never received anything but kindness and encouragement from you fans. When you look around, wouldn't you consider it privilege? to associate yourself with such a fine-looking man as a standing in uniform in this ballpark today. Look at this grand man. Which of you wouldn't consider it the highlight of his career just to associate with them for even one day? Sure, I'm lucky. Who wouldn't consider it an honor to have known Jacob Rupert? Also, the builder of baseball's greatest empire, Ed Barrow to have spent six years with that wonderful little fellow, Miller Huggins. Then to have spent the next nine years with that outstanding leader. That smart student of psychology, the best manager in baseball today. The best manager in baseball today. Joe McCarthy. Sure, I'm lucky. When the New York Giants, a team you would give your right arm to beat and vice versa, sends you a gift, that's something. When everybody down to the groundskeepers and those boys in the white coats remember you with trophies. Remember you with trophies, that's something. You have a wonderful mother-in-law who takes sides with you and squabbles with her own daughter, that's something. When you have a father and a mother who work all their lives so you can have an education, so you can have an education and build your body, it's a blessing. When you have a wife who has been a tower of strength, when you have a wife who has been a tower of strength and shown more courage than you dreamed existed, that's the finest I know. So I close in saying that I might have been given a bad break, but I've got an awful lot to live for. The emotional power of that day in 1939, where Gehrig told the world of his personal challenge with ALS, will be retold and relived in dramatic fashion as Gehrig heads to the big screen in Hollywood fashion in a gripping story you'll never forget. For producer Robert Malloy, the grandson of George Steinbrenner, he has one main goal for the film, to leave an impact on future generations of baseball fans so they know the man in Gehrig and what he went through in his struggles beyond baseball all in the name of his grandfather and his mother, Jessica. Malloy, along with producers Michael and David Uslan, promised to relive Gehrig's story to understand the man, his challenges, and his legacy. Lou Gehrig has 23 Major League Grand Slams. For days like this, legends and the legacy of these sports stars came out to support not the game, but the battle for life beyond the baseball field. I consider myself the luckiest man on the face of the earth.